At the Tongfolk Correctional Institution on Lantau Island, a group of adult inmates are learning how to prepare a tasty dish. Wearing tidy uniforms, they carefully follow each step. They also learn how to serve guests at a restaurant. Among the courses on offer, Fike likes this Chinese culinary and restaurant service training the most. Cooking is a professional skill. Everyone needs to eat. So learning this skill set will allow me to participate in the catering industry. Fai was sent to this institution after he was convicted for conspiracy to defraud. He looks forward to his release next year, when we will resume his normal life. He is optimistic that he can turn over a new leaf. I believe society will accept ex-prisoners like me. I hope to start out with a job cooking and develop my career step by step. I want to be a good example for my son, to show him everything must be done step by step. Taking the easy way to get easy money may not be the best way. The institution offers many training programs, and with community support, inmates can get a head start on their new lives upon their release. Yang Wai Singh, who regularly employs rehabilitated offenders, praised them for their outstanding performance. They obey and treasure the opportunities. They know how to define themselves and know how to fight for what they want. Hong Kong Correctional Services provides diversified vocational training for inmates. This year, it has 48 programs with 1,300 places for voluntary application. They can uh, take a more positive angle to face their life. And the other one is to, they can get some recognized, public recognized certificates uh, to help them find a job after their release. According to some local non-government organizations, most of the former inmates can find jobs and live normal lives in the community. Mr. Tang said the department will continue assessing market demand to provide inmates with appropriate training.